Hello everyone, today with you, me Emil and my name is Nick and today we're gonna cook we're gonna cook pasta marinara with meatballs our way how we cook it at home and today we're gonna use for our sauce uh, yeah, we're gonna cook uh, sauce by ourselves, uh, so we can show you how you can make the better sauce, not the garbage sauce which you can buy in a store, but you can make by yourself healthy, fast and easy and much much more tastier, I would say, right flavor yeah. sauce. And I guess we're gonna start with tomato. Yeah, yeah, so what we need, we need the tomatoes. Yeah, actually we're gonna use some marzano. Tomatoes, like if you prefer it more, it's gonna give more, like, more tastier, I can say it. Yeah, so basically you can buy like fresh tomatoes and cook with fresh tomatoes, but if, if you want to save time and you know, it's not gonna really affect any taste of the dish. But I prefer exactly like this type of tomato, for me they give like more flavor and it's like how it's supposed to be, in my opinion. We're gonna gently smash our tomatoes. Like massage. I can't say that. <laughs> but we're gonna smash. <laughs> yeah, you just need to smash them so it's gonna be consistent and the same. Why are we not using blender for this purpose? Uh, I think like not everyone might have a blender, especially if some dude's gonna cook it. You might not, you know, gonna find everything on the kitchen where your wife usually cooks. So that's true, but like for my opinion, it's better to smash it by hand because like when you blend it, the consistency of their sauce is gonna be total different. You don't want to use a blender. Peel it. Okay. Cool. That's good to know. I didn't know that. Yeah. Our tomato already smashed enough. Okay. We need three gloves of garlic. Okay. Uh, can I cut it? Yes, please. Or yeah, we need we need to peel it first. So I don't know how to exactly do it, but yeah, let me try it. Try to smash it first. It's gonna be easier for you. Smash. Uh, yeah, just put it on the table and smash it by your. Like light. this? Yep. Yep. Perfect. Okay. And what? what no, it should. You gonna peel it? Yep. Just try it. Okay. You see? Wow. <laughs> that's magic. Cool. That's works. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. That's that's really works. Yeah, we need three of them. Three of them. Okay. 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 Um, you can. Cut, dice your garlic however you want to, like it's real doesn't mm -hmm. matter. We're just using garlic for flavor. Yeah, I don't know why. It doesn't work for me. Yeah, you always can use like your marinara sauce, like from a store, like from a can. You're not supposed to do it like how we do it. Yeah, you, you basically can buy already... Yes, and you can save garlic. your time. I can say that. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's time and everything. Especially yeah. if you're lazy. <laughs> 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 yeah, so we done with garlic. What do we need? Yeah, we're gonna cut it like... Nothing special. We're just gonna... Cut it some way. Okay. So I, I, I'm not really good at cooking, I mean I like cooking, I like cooking some special dishes uh, but I'm not like into everyday cooking but Emil, Emil is a kind of professional and I trust him so he knows what he's doing I already got, would cut my finger Sometimes I don't trust myself <laughs> Yeah, and actually we can start put everything on the yeah. yeah, go ahead Yeah Let's Take our garlic. We're gonna use olive oil, extra version. It's better. Yeah. We're gonna use approximately around 
one or two tablespoons of olive oil. And we're gonna use three garlic gloves, which we had before. Do you need to preheat skillet before to put everything on it? Actually, it depends which type of skillet you use. Mm -hmm. If it's gonna be like stainless steel, how is this one? Mm -hmm. You should do that. Okay. If it's have like special coating, you know, supposed to be like. I prefer stainless steel, but you can use any type. Okay. Any one way. Cool. Which yeah. yeah, we need just a little bit golden brown our garlic just to give all flavor to our olive oil mm -hmm. and after we're gonna add our tomatoes which we already smashed by hands and once again please please don't use blender <laughs> use your hands <laughs> yeah people didn't have blenders before right so they used to do everything by hand it's not about like do you have it or not, it's about yeah, no, like no. you're gonna change like whole consistency like no, of okay. liquid. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. It's gonna get a lot of air inside. No, I mean like the technology is not always you know the best. So they are made yeah. to save time to make your life easier, but it's not always best for you know yeah, you to make dish better. You always can like skip a steps but Please don't do it. <laughs> yeah. I just put on a high heat because nothing gonna happen with garlic. We just need like to get all this flavor to our olive oil before we add tomatoes. And look, it's starting little by little, changing color to golden. A little bit more time. Did you see this flavor? Yeah, I can smell it. Yeah, I actually love the garlic smell. Yeah. And, and you see taste. how it's starting to be like goldenish, I can say? Mm -hmm. Right now is perfect time to add your tomato. Right now you don't want to your heat on all the way up, you want to lower down. And you want to simmer it at least like 15 20 minutes. Okay, yeah, we just leave it right there, yeah, and let it. We're gonna just add a pinch of salt, and mix it. And I forgot about that for. Nice. Sit. Okay, while sauce is on a stove and it's on its way to getting ready, we're gonna switch to making meatballs. Yep. So what Let's do we start with? Start our second step. We're gonna use two type of protein. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be like ground beef and ground pork. It's gonna be like the same amount. Today we're gonna use like approximately around 250 grams of each of them. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use one of third cup of pecorino cheese. Mm -hmm. I prefer pecorino. And we're gonna use half of cup of uh, bread crumbs. Okay, okay. We so, mix it together. Uh, about meat, uh, how lean should it be? Because I know there is different type of, you know, uh, meat. It could be very lean or very fat. I prefer ratio like 30, 70, 80, 20. Nothing more, nothing less. 15, like 20 percent of fat. Mm, 20, 30 percent of fat. 20, 30. Okay, yeah. cool. For me, it's like a best. So it's gonna make meat what? more juicy or what? Yes, more softer, you're gonna feel this. And actually I'm using breadcrumbs which already have added parsley, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna add a little bit more fresh one. 
Cool. And why do we, do we need the breadcrumbs? What it does? It's gonna keep like some extra moisture, I can say. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be get softer. You will see different. It's not gonna be like, get hard. Okay. And okay. That's cool. why we need, or that's why we need like two type of protein, but always. If for some reason you don't want to use pork, you mm -hmm. can use just like regular ground beef. Okay. And be good. Okay. Cool. Let's try it. Let's do. It. Let's do. It. Let's do it. Yeah. Just can you help me with mixing it, please? Okay. Actually, you can mix it right here. Mm -hmm. So we just need to mix them together. That's it. Yes. I can give you a bigger bowl if you want to. Uh, let's let's see. I think it's gonna work. Should be enough. We're so gonna, we just simply mix yeah. two together. We're gonna add approximately like one teaspoon of salt. Okay. For okay. this amount of protein. But always like it depends which type of salt you use. Like for me I'm using like sea salt and for sea salt I'm using like a uh, one teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna add our breadcrumbs. Okay. Just slowly add it, mix it, please. I remember in my childhood, my mom was doing some uh, some different katlete, we called it. But yeah, I used to mix meat all the time and I actually eat it raw. I can see if you have <laughs> some experience. <laughs> we don't have more. It's not professional, it's DIY. <laughs> We're not trying to be professional. We're trying to make dishes like which can make everyone without any experience, without any knowledge. Like we want to make it easier. We want to make it our way. Yeah, and it's Italian kitchen. Who doesn't love Italian kitchen? And if you can make it really, really good at home, you should do it definitely. You can because sometimes you get disappointed. When you're in a restaurant, you go in a restaurant and it's not done properly. But, yeah. That's true, that's true. Let's see. Unless you're in the old garden. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How is this consistency? Yeah. Look. Okay, what next? You wanna eat. Keep your protein more tight, you know, like you can feel it. Mm -hmm. How is that? Our next step, we're gonna just create meatballs. Like just some yeah. small balls? Mm, we can use like this one, it's not a big problem. Is there some technique how to do it? Because I, I don't know. Is I there prefer some... to make it this way, you just hold it like that on my hand. Okay. And you're helping with the second hand, and you're just squeezing. Oh, wow. yeah. And that's it. Do you need to like you know yeah, make it round? Right? Not right now because oh, like, okay. it's so trying to save your time. Yeah. Divide it into some equal pieces, and yeah, you're just holding it like that. Wow, helping with the second hand. That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Fast and easy. And you see, it's all this. I can say that. It's like became barbers. like it's the same size, you know. It's like barbers, you know, when they cut your hair, they always do it by just fingers. And I was wondering, like, how can they know it's the same size, you know, same length? So That's true. It's yeah. experience, right? We're gonna make like our spaghetti today for two person, I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess like it's around maybe. 16 pieces, we need like a couple of more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm already hungry. I'm hungry too, that's why I'm <laughs> trying to make it faster. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Right now. I need your help again. Yep. Yeah. Just take one of these meatballs that you have. Uh -huh. Just look. try it to make it round. That's it. Easy peasy. 
lemon squeezy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always when you're making your food at home, you're already hungry and you're trying to make it fast. Yep. That's where you make it easier. Yeah, you better hurry it up. Yeah. But honestly, you need to, you know, be careful when you prepare the meat because meat should reach certain temperature inside so it's not gonna be raw it's not gonna be it's gonna be safe for you to consume you know that's true like you can use your food thermometer if you want to or you always can a little bit just cook it a little bit more and you're gonna be on the safe side if you don't have like your food thermometer yeah, this one's perfect. <laughs> We're gonna eat it anyway, trust me. Right now, we're gonna use flour. We're gonna wow. just dip it. Actually, we can skip this step, but I prefer to use it. Just mm -hmm. drop it like that. Okay, well, what it does? Why do we need to put it in flour? It's Keep it like together, holding a little bit more moisture. You know, like all steps so important, but you always can skip all the steps. But each step give you like or more flavor or more um, softer. You know. Mm -hmm. So it's like small tricks, basically. Uh, yeah, for, like, for example, during the cooking, these meatballs, perfect round meatballs, could fall apart, right? It's not going to be round anymore, but as I understood correctly, the flour we will keep them together so they will be solid during the cooking, right? You're right. Okay, cool, cool. So it's small tricks, guys, you see? It's not something like fancy or something, you know, from Michelin stuff, two or three star restaurants, but it's something like, you know, Something. Everyone can buy the flour and Something what you can cook at home. Yep. And just go for it. Yeah, go ahead. We use olive oil again. Same amount. Around two tablespoons. Small question, uh, you're using the stainless steel skillet. Yeah. Uh, and I always used to have some problems where the food usually sticks to it and it's really hard to, you know, to cook and then to clean it after you did cooking. So, why the do you still use it? To look, I just put my oil and it's already start smoking. Uh -huh. Because you want to keep your skillet already preheated. Mm -hmm. And that's a trick and it's not gonna stick. You will see it. So it should be high, medium, low. What do you wanna keep it? On a medium, after you throw your meatballs, you don't need to cook all the way, you just need to give like a little bit more color, a little mm -hmm. bit more extra flavor, because anyway, we're gonna Cook it more. Our marinara sauce is on the way. <laughs> and you see? It's not sticking. Yeah, that's, that's magic actually. Because I always have problems with this steel and I don't love them, I just hate it. And it's like stainless steel without any coating, without anything. Just keep it hot. Uh -huh. And nothing on stick. So and it doesn't matter what you cook on it. So you basically cook anything, like any type of meat, anything you want. It's just the treat to preheat it. Yep. Wow. Yep. Wow. That's amazing. I always prefer stainless steel for some reason, but anytime you can use like your own star pitch you like with any type of coating, it doesn't matter. Смотри, сейчас можем просто поснимать, это оно готовится. Да. Может пока поставить на паузу. И мы канал не был. Вау. It still doesn't stick at all. You see it? Да, это на видео. Да, это на видео. Я буду покупать 
by the stainless steel skillet. And again, <laughs> it's already around 15-20 minutes how our marinara sauce is boiling. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna add the last ingredient before we mix it with the meatballs. And what this is, is... What is last ingredient? Basil. Wow. Yep. The fresh, still growing. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer it. So, okay. Yeah, put it by hands, like dice it by hands. Yes. I don't like using knife. Why? Uh, because you're gonna lose a lot of flavor. Hmm. And I'm adding it always on the end, not before. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's interesting. So, so the, uh, the basically, I didn't, I, I didn't get why the knife make the difference for the taste. It's because like when you're using your cutting board, your knife, a lot of all of this like basil flavor, you're gonna keep it loaded on the knife and on the cutting board. Mm -hmm. But when you make it by hand, you're not gonna lose any flavor. And I'm adding a special name, not when we start cook because you don't want to lose all your flavor. You see? You see? We're going to just mix it. I like this one. Cover it back for a minute. And we're going to put our meatballs on this one. So, you see, it's not overly cooked. It just has like some brownish golden color. Mm -hmm. It's still around inside. So you, you mean it's still not done inside, it's just like... Yeah, it's still around inside. Okay. So we're gonna cook it all the way in marinara sauce. Mm. Yep. So what do you get? You're gonna... Yeah, you just wanna cover your meatballs with marinara sauce and you wanna leave just a little bit marinara sauce for your spaghetti when it's gonna be ready okay uh, actually, so what do we do with this? if you're gonna put it on 350 for 20 minutes you can use like any type of oven I'm gonna use right now my smaller express smaller, oven. Yeah. Just 350, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, it's okay. Bam. Let's change it to 410 always. Good question. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> okay, so now we've done the sauce. We have 15 minutes and we don't want to use our time spend it for nothing because we're hungry. Yes. We're gonna put our water for spaghetti. Yep. We're gonna use... You always want to take extra bigger nut, like real big, big, huge one. Mm -hmm. But the something bigger, like more bigger what you need for spaghetti. Why? Why? Because if you're gonna use like small pot, it's gonna be like easier to stick together. You don't wanna do that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You want them separate? Yeah. And <laughs> one trick. If you wanna make your spaghetti faster, use hot water. Yeah, it's gonna boil faster. Yeah, that's obviously. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. I, I, I know the, the backward trick, so when your wa water is hot and you put it on a cold weather, it freezes faster than the cold water, for some reason, I know. You probably saw the video with that boiling water, they in a minus 50, they make instant ice. Yeah, that's physics. Yeah, <laughs> I'm far from that. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. And one more thing. 
like some people prefer to use olive oil while they making pasta doing it. Uh, you mean the oil will put in the water? Yeah. Some people say like it's keep your pasta from stick together, but I believe like keep your pasta from sticking together is like extra amount of water. Mm -hmm. You see? So the, you mean the more water, it means the spaghetti will have more space so they're not gonna stick together. So. Yeah. yeah, that's hard. And you'll see it, we're not gonna add any water. We have 15 minutes, 30 minutes, we're gonna put an all the way high and one more thing, one more trick. We're gonna use huge amount of salt. Why? Because you wanna make your spaghetti water like really, really salty, like a, like an ocean water, I can say it. <laughs> Don't afraid to put big amount of salt. You're not gonna regret it. Cover it, make it faster. We are hungry, guys, and that's it. Wait till it boil. Okay. I'll be back. After half an hour, <laughs> our water started to boil. <laughs> yeah, don't throw your pasta before your water starts to boil. Okay, uh... we're gonna take our pasta. Please, 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 don't break it. Don't do that. We don't. Because <laughs> I was don't. going to ask, like, if we're gonna break it in half. <laughs> don't do it like that. Um, it's actually pretty enough amount of pasta for people of two, even a three. Mm -hmm. What you want to do? You want to put your uh, pot on a high heat. Why? Because like while throwing your pasta, it will cool down the water. Yep. But you want to start to boil faster and Two important step. It's like start to like mix your water spaghetti faster because don't let them stick together. You can cover your pot just for a couple of seconds, just for helping it to start. Boil faster, but don't go away because it's gonna bubble like so so bad. And second thing, cook your pasta till al dente. Don't cook it more. You don't want to do that because we're gonna mix it with a hot marinara sauce and with a hot meatballs. Stupid question. What is al dente? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Und undercooked pasta. <laughs> <laughs> undercooked pasta, okay. <laughs> it's been raw? <laughs> yeah, it's not like a steak, but it's like not fully cooked. Not way. fully cooked. Yeah, like you make it special. I heard probably that uh, the Italians, they do not fully, you know, they do not wait until the pasta is fully cooked. So this, they make this kind of al dente. Uh, I didn't know it called that way, but this is why they not, you know, not gaining weight. I mean, because the pasta is under cooking, it's not. Maybe it's pasta better quality over there. Mm. But we use Italian pasta, right? Yep. I hope it's not American version of this pasta. No, we use but a simple barilla. Our pasta, water starts to boil again, and our spaghetti legs, all the time, it's. 10-11 minutes, mm -hmm. we're gonna set up our timer for 10 minutes and we're gonna come back after 10 minutes and drain Nice! Don't forget to open your wheel. Al dente. Al dente. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, do it. let's try. 
Be careful, safety first. You don't need to mix your spaghetti with olive oil or something else because the special leaf extra marinara sauce which already has olive oil in mm -hmm. Yeah. This is why we save this marinara. Yep. Just throw your spaghetti inside. Make some magic. Mix, 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 <laughs> mix, mix, mix. It's really, really nice. Alrighty, but we still need our meatballs. That's for sure. Yep. Meat is a king. And that's the reason why you need your spaghetti al dente. Because you put hot pasta in hot liquid. Okay, so it's called like that. Well, Continue basically cooking, right? Yeah. Nice. We're not stopping with it. <laughs> and that's more. Last step. It's it's a meatballs. Our meatballs. Just I keep them hot. Let's see what we get. It's already fully cooked. Look wow, on that. That looks amazing. Yeah. That looks amazing. Really nice. And the lumen. Tastes amazing too. We can move it on Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now we have our pasta. Can you bring our beautiful plate, please? Now we're gonna join it together. <laughs> kind of merge. Yep. Just turn, turn, turn. A little bit less amount. We don't want it that much. Okay. Our pasta. Yep. Your meatballs. And can you pass it to me, our basil, please? Yes, of course. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're just gonna add some extra basil on top for extra view, extra taste. And... Why is our fox? Do we need to add some cheese on top or not? I like it. I put special extra cheese. You see? Just a little bit on top. We already have our picarina cheese inside our meatballs. Wow. Yep. This is beautiful. Let's try. Try it. Is it hot? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Okay. Tell me. What do you think about our pasta? Mmm. Mm, my goodness. Just perfect. Just perfect. And it is it? How it was simple? Yeah, yeah. That was really simple. Nothing special. Right, right. I want to try meatball. Try it, please. My goodness, we need to open an Italian restaurant. Oh, <laughs> this so far from mm. that step. So tender. Nice. Mmm. It's tender because of this piccarini cheese and breadcrumbs. Nice, nice, nice. I like it, guys. If you like our video, please subscribe to the channel, give us a like, and leave a comment. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.